Hey folks, Garrett Martin here with Dark Ops Armory. Today I've got a Tracking Point XS1 precision guided firearm in front of me and I wanted to kind of give you all a quick rundown and overview of what these firearms are capable of and the technology that goes into making something like this and really just how amazing it is and uh, it really does feel like magic when you're shooting one of these things. Uh, um, my, just to start off the bat, my 10 year old daughter went 5 for 5 at 1000 yards and had never shot a rifle above a 22 before. Um, if that sounds amazing, like I just said, it is. Um, a tracking point in a 338 Lapua, and particularly the XS1, is capable of engaging targets with a above 80% first round hit probability past 1000 yards. And in fact, this will tag and track out to 1200 yards. Um, the way they do this is by combining cell phone technology and all of the modernization and miniaturization of, of electronics that we've seen in the past five years. The technology has been out there, but it's never been brought together and put into a package as compact and as easy to use as this. Um, I have quite a bit of time on tracking points. I, I've fired several thousand rounds through them and I've traveled around the country uh, doing demonstrations with them. Uh, moving from you know very high altitudes in West Virginia, going down to the coast in uh, California the next day, making no adjustments to the gun, pulling out the thing and nailing targets at a thousand yards. Uh, so just kind of get started. The base rifle of a tracking point is off the Surgeon XL action in the 338 and a standard 1061 long action in the XS2 and the 300 Win Mag models. Um, we've got an AI, AI uh, uh, AX chassis here with a key mod system and a folding stock. Uh, going to uh, the tracking point PGF unit on top, you have two battery bays on either side. Each battery allows you, depending on if you're running Wi-Fi streaming, uh, two to five hours of battery life per side. Uh, it's also hot swappable, which means that when one battery goes dead, or if I pull out one battery from the other side, the scope and the firearm are still functioning in the um, in the mode that you are currently in. Um, it can operate as a normal rifle. When you first boot up this scope, in two seconds it boots up into a standard mill dot crosshair, triggers engaged, you can shoot the rifle, um, you know, you still have a zoom up here, but none of the uh, electronic uh, computer functions are enabled at that time. You hit the mode button, and in 15 seconds, boots up, gyros start kicking in, and uh, everything comes on in your HUD, and you see a display on your screen in here. And the display really is a display, because you're not looking through standard optics, like looking through a nice, you know, Schmidt and Bender or something like that. You're actually looking through a CCD camera that's projecting an image onto an LC LCD screen that you're seeing back here. In the front of the rifle, if I can turn this beast right here in front of you and let you kind of get a look of it here, we have two laser send and receive units. And in front here, something really cool. Barrel reference system is what they call it. Barrel reference system is powered by the scope itself. You have a prism inside the scope, actually a couple prisms that line up, and what happens is when it shoots a laser back into the scope, it self-aligns, which means, you know, hey, you put this thing on a plane, you go to South Africa, you pull it out, you don't have to worry about your zero. You boot up the scope, it realigns itself with the bore of the rifle. Since this is physically milled into the top of the barrel, um, it allows you to never have to be worried about whether you are at the right zero. Um, the other thing that people really get a wow factor on these things is the fact that it comes with an iPad Mini. The iPad Mini utilizes the Wi-Fi server on the inside and it connects over its own Wi-Fi network. So that means you can be in South Africa hunting in the middle of wherever and be sitting there with your guide streaming to your iPad. Um, we'll go ahead and kind of boot it up and kind of show you what it looks like on the screen and we'll kind of do a rundown of that. Alright, as you can see here, the tracking point precision guide firearm is actually live Wi-Fi streaming to the iPad. So you have a Wi-Fi server inside the PGF that is broadcasting a signal, and as long as your Wi-Fi your, uh, wi enabled iPad or iPhone to be able to connect to it anywhere in the world. You do not need a Wi-Fi router or any type of network that's already established. As you can see on the screen here, and we can't see anything because I'm looking at a wall five feet away obviously, uh, we see a cant indicator. So if I turn the rifle right or left, you will see it register the cant. Uh, this rifle is able to shoot all the way up to uh, past a 70 degree cant, right or left, and all the way past and including a 145 degrees down or up. Um, everything in here is taking account. Anytime you move that gun or anytime you um, see the cant or the incline indicators changing, the ballistic computer is actually making that uh, correction automatically for you. 
Up here you can see in the top right a wind mile per hour reading. It's really the only manual input that we have on the scope. You'll see that as I change the wind, it'll indicate it right or left in half mile per hour increments. This allows for much easier esti wind estimation. Instead of holding an MOA or a mill base type reticle, you are simply making it a, a good wind call and putting in what direction the wind's coming from. So in this would be a one and a half mile per hour wind coming from the left to right. Now in here you can see in the top left our yardage rain, uh, marker. Now if this was actually close enough for me to be able to tag something, you would see the yardage displayed up here once I hit the tag and track button that we talked about earlier. Uh, as you can see, since I'm so close, it's giving me a target not found. No TTX lock, too close essentially. They need to be at least 50 yards for this to be able to lock on. Uh, up here in the top right, going back, you see two battery indicators. You have two separate batteries on either side of the system. They're hot swappable, which means even if I pop this guy out right now, while everything's running, all that you will see is the right battery will now be gone. That means that everything can stay up and running. If one battery goes dead in the field, you don't have to turn off your whole scope, power it down. You can still do it very quickly. As you can see, pop this back in, plug it in, and you'll see the right battery. Now, the one that's highlighted right now, the one blue, is what side it's running off of. And like I said, automatically when that battery goes dead, it will swap to the other battery. Over here on the top left, you're going to see this where it says Advanced Targets. Advanced Targets is the computer-enabled PGF full smart rifle function. If I hit the mode button on top, you're going to see this is what it originally boots up in. This is a traditional reticle. At this point, the PGF is a standard rifle. If I pull the trigger, it dry fires right now, as you can see, and it goes bang. Okay. Now, when I switch modes again, and I go to advanced mode, my trigger is now completely disabled. In order to tag and track that target, I'll have to do my sequence of tagging with my, tag, my uh, red tag button, locking onto the target, holding the trigger to the rear, and then lining up my crosshair with the red dot that comes in the screen. The other uh, my, uh, item that you're going to see up here on the top left is your bullet selection. With these uh, tracking point firearms, it comes with a choice of either a match grade uh, OTM bullet or an LRX full copper hunting bullet. And you can simply go into your settings and you can swap between the two bullets and it will automatically adjust your ballistic profile for whatever caliber you're talking about. Uh, that kind of shows you a little bit about uh, you know, what you're seeing through the scope. Um, you're down here, you have your temperature settings, your uh, barometric pressure, time, and date. This is really good for hunters. It allows you to essentially be looking exactly what the person looking through the scope is seeing, be able to direct them onto the right animal or the right location of, of, of what you're trying to, you know, find. Or in, you know, dense brush, you can say, no, I see what you're seeing, you know, move at two o'clock to your left. Um, really allows, uh, you know, a type of involvement with the shooter that's never been seen before. Uh, this also is automatically recording as soon as I hit that tag button, which means that any video is recorded up to 60 seconds after the shot is placed. So that means you can immediately, you know, be live streaming, updating, send to Facebook, pretty much whatever you want to do with that. Uh, it is held into the scope and then to download it, you simply connect digitally through your Wi-Fi signal and download the movie straight onto your iPad. Beyond that, and that really is just the beginning, this thing has three gyros, accelerometer, any a full suite of electronics just like you find in your iPhone 5 that allows you to essentially judge bar barometric pressure, altitude, temperature density, uh, cant, uh, right, left, up, down, anything that you can quantify mathematically as far as shooting a bullet the rifle does. The only thing that you have to do is make an intelligent wind call. And wind call is this simple rocker switch up here that you push left to right in half mile per hour increments. So instead of how we would normally call, you know, an offset and say, well, you know, the wind's coming from right to left and we're going to hold the rifle over here. Instead, it's a simple left to right increment in half mile per hour saying what direction the wind is coming from. At that point, in a advanced mode, right here, the key to the system for you actually engaging the targets is your tag button. When you hit that red tag button, as close as 50 yards and out to 1200 yards on the XS1, it'll actually tag and lock onto a target. Now, the way that it does this is way over my head. I'm not an engineer. All I can tell you is that it works. It works well. When you lock onto that target, it's essentially comparing a static background versus a moving foreground, and it's comparing that many, many times a second, 54 times a second actually, to be able to uh, read that target and actually track it. So beyond it actually locking onto a target and sticking a dot on the target through your HUD, in the advanced movers mode on this, 
if that target moves, it is ta tracking that target up to 10 miles an hour. And say you tag a deer, he's at 500 yards away, you got a nice heart lung tag right there. He starts walking and your tag follows him. If he moves and he starts quartering towards you, that tag will intelligently slide around and stick to that animal. Um, I've seen this before. I've shot a deer at over 700 yards with this thing. And as soon as I pulled the trigger, it started to quarter toward me. And it, boom, went off right there. And it was perfect heart shot right down the center. Really, really amazing. Um, in order to do the tag and track, it's very intuitive and very quick. Um, I think my record on this gun, shooting five different targets starting at 100 and out to 1,000 yards, is somewhere in the realm of 16 to 17 seconds and hitting every single target. Um, once you get down on this gun and you practice with that tag and track, uh, you will be hitting targets consecutively at 1,000 yards within five minutes. Um, with just a little bit more work, say a half hour playing with the gun, you'll be able to engage targets quickly at various differences, at di various distances and be able to hit uh, targets as small as a clay pigeon up to a thousand yards, which I have done as well. Um, like I said, the gun really is, feels like magic and it really is the first true uh, smart technology that I've seen that actually makes sense being applied to a firearm as, as in it's not some type of safety mechanism, it's something that allows the end user to be way better than they would have ever been without this level of training. Now, yes, I could spend, you know, $10,000 with a, uh, you know, just on a good setup for a, you know, surgeon precision rifle with a good Schmidt and 12 to 50 on top. I mean, whatever you want to do for shooting 1,000, 1,200 yards, and you'd already be in the rifle for 10 grand. When you factor in the years and the time of training and learning that rifle, learning that scope, and being able to engage targets and read the wind at various distances that quickly, um, you're talking an exponentially large amount of money versus actually just going out and purchasing a $27,000 rifle that you do off the bat. Now, I'm a competitive shooter. I love the idea of, of bettering myself and, and, and you know, learning how to improve myself. But if you're the type of person that time is money and time is important and you're a big tech person and you really like things that are just, frankly, feels like magic, um, this is right down your line. Um, this allows someone with little to no experience shooting long range to be able and to go safely and cleanly and ethically take animals up to a thousand yards away. Um, the other critical point of the PGF, other than of course all the ballistics and all the computer processing that's going on in this scope, is the ammunition. So, and a lot of old timers are going to say, well, yeah, I mean, how do they, you know, manufacture this ammunition? Is it electronic? Has it got something? This is normal, conventional ammunition loaded by barns. What is special about it? is that every single round is loaded to plus or minus 10 feet per second. Now, if you're a reloader, you know that you can achieve that, but that's never been achieved before in some type of factory available in any type of quantity, and you know how hard it is to work up a load and to work at that muzzle deviation, especially at various temperatures and altitudes. Uh, we've tested this down to well below freezing, to being sitting in a box and heating it up and being 140 degrees, and changing that temperature that quickly with the ammunition in the gun and it still retains that plus or minus 10, for, 10, feet, 10 feet per second muzzle deviation. Uh, to give you an idea of how good that really is, the best military grade sniper rifle ammunition that we use today is plus or minus 50. So yes, this is a very, very tight tolerance, well-made round. Like I said, we're using, Barnes is, is using their best bullets, their best brass. We're using Lapua brass, of course, in a 338. Um, everything's annealed. Um, very, very consistent, very good shooting ammunition. And as far as price, very competitively priced compared to other, you know, Sirocco or Hornaday 338 loads. A couple dollars more expensive, but not at all cost prohibitive. Uh, if I could buy this ammo for all of my guns, I would. It's the best 338 and 300 Win Mag hunting and match grade ammo on the market today that you can buy, hands down. Unfortunately, the only way that you're going to get access to this ammo by getting one of these guys. And at that point, whenever you want more, it's calling up Tracking Point and say, send me a case to my house. It's that easy. You don't have to go shop. You're not worried about going to Walmart and finding ammo. They send it to your house. It's there and available in bulk and however much you want at any time. Um, so to kind of recap, Tracking Point Precision Guide Firearm, 6 to 35X, viewed through a CCD camera, put on an LC displays. It does very well with low light because it is a camera. It's able to adjust its aperture automatically for low light situations. Um, all in all, very effective at doing what they say it does, and it does do what they say it does and what they claim.
So Dark Ops has been selling tracking point PGFs from the very beginning. We were the very first people to, you know, get them in to be able to sell as a dealer, very first people to sell them, you know, online to a dealer. Uh, right now, as far as having a tracking point PGF that you can walk in or call me and buy right now, as far as I know, I'm the only person in the country. I don't know of anyone else right now that has one sitting on their shelf. And not only one, I've got three. I also have an XS3 model in 300 Win Mag. And I also have the brand new XS4 in 338 Lapua. This is your ultimate long range hunting gun with your Macmillan A5 stock, 26 inch barrel, and the big guy, the 338 with the XL action. That will tag and track out to 1200 yards. And the XS3 will tag and track out to 750 yards, and it's a 300 Win Mag. You have two choices of bullets. You have a 190 grain LRX or a 220 grain open tip matched bullet. So to recap, what you're seeing here is the future of firearm technology, what I truly believe. Um, as far as civilian application, it does have its uses, and of course the military is obviously very interested in something like that. And if I kind of wanted to talk a little bit on things that they are talking about doing as far as using it in a battlefield type scenario and the capabilities that this would give to our troops. And one of the reasons why I think it's important to support a company like this in order to get the technology into the hands of our troops because this will be absolutely a game-changing battlefield weapon. Uh, imagine, go beyond just, you know, sniper shots or, you know, precision shots at 1,000 yards and think about a 223 on an M4 carbine or on a uh, SR25 308, you know, engaging targets at 600 yards and instead of being, you know, only special forces or spec ops guys having some access to this, one in the hands of every standard infantryman on his carbine. You immediately give someone like that first shot hit capability out to 400 yards, something that's never been seen in warfare before. Not only that, being able to hook into a, a, a Wi-Fi network and an enclosed battlefield network, you're actually streaming what every single soldier would be seeing through their scope and allowing someone on the battlefield or even a commander back at base to actually be able to watch what is going on through their men's scopes and be able to bring all that information together and look at an overhead view on a drone, being able to tap on targets and being able to designate targets. Because of the GPS location systems in here, it knows where it is on the face of the earth at any time. It does this mostly for Coriolis effect, actually gauging the, the speed of the rotation of the earth and what direction the earth's rotating while that bullet is in flight. What that also means is that if you're using it on the battlefield, it knows where you're at in relation to distances and where you are in relation to directions. Um, so imagine having a lieutenant on the battlefield with his eye, with a, some type of tablet device, being able to click on multiple screens and having them feed information in from a drone, being able to tap targets. Um, the technology is there. It needs to be fleshed out a little bit more as far as being battlefield hardened. Um, but that's one of the really big reasons why I support this company because this technology for our troops is going to be an absolute game changer in, in warfare. Uh, being able to put these on drones, uh, having the same type of target tracking technology will increase accuracy uh, across the board. Um, so now is really your chance to be able to get what the future of you're going to see in warfare now today as a civilian marketed towards civilians and well supported. Uh, it is an expensive gun. It is a $27,500 gun. That being said, if you purchase one of these from me, I will bring it to you. I will teach you how to shoot it. If you ever have any problem with it, it needs to be worked on. Tracking Point will fly an engineer out to you with a new rifle if he has to or a new PGF unit on the top to swap it out and make it right. So you're talking about a luxury product that also has the same luxury backing. This is not, you know, buy once and then they forget about you. They want this thing to work and to show you that it does what they say it does, and they will stand by that. Um, I've seen it myself. Uh, I've seen people jump on the flight and fly halfway across the country after getting a phone call an hour before. Um, so really a neat company that's really trying to break into uh, you know, the technology and the fire market and combining those two and making really its own market. So uh, you, know, you can like or not like the idea of a gun essentially taking a lot of the skill out of precision shooting, but its applications and its uses today are going to be there and there are individuals out there that would love to take advantage of technology like this. Like I said, I myself am a competition shooter, but this does things 
so quickly and so easily that for people who want to be able to go out and do things that they wouldn't normally be able to do in very quick time, this is really for you. Well guys, thanks for watching a um, video. If y'all have any feedback, uh, let, let me know. I'm just starting doing this. I'm trying to like, you know, get the ropes down of talking about things and talking in front of the camera. I really do enjoy explaining things to people um, and me managing an online retail store, uh, I don't always get the interaction with the customer on a daily basis and so this is my daily interaction with y'all. Uh, if y'all have any feedback on the mailers, um, if you want to see something different, it, it, you know, please let me know. Email me. Click on that link with, with, with my name in the email and just say, hey, you know, I've seen too many 1911s this week. Show us some PGFs. Show me, you know, whatever. I mean, heck, how about right here next to me, you know? Completely off the subject of our of our tracking points. You want me to build you up an SR25 LPR, three and a half to fifteen F1 Night Force. You know, nice X400 dual laser light unit, Atlas bipod, 45 degree RMR off to the side. Um, you know, we we have it. We have really neat things here at Dark Ops. Something that a lot of retail shops aren't able to do. Um, from L3 LWTS thermals. Uh, like I said, the ECCs, ECRs by Knights, Les Bears, Nighthawks, Wilsons. I mean, just let me know what you want to see, and I'll, I'll go do reviews of it. We'll go out, we'll shoot them. Um, let me know what questions you have. If you want to know about, you know, specific optics or choices of reticles, anything like that, let me know. We are very highly specialized, and uh, we, we like dealing with the good stuff. Um, that being said, if there's anything that you need that you don't see, we can get just about anything. So give me a call. Um, tracking points right here. I've got three of them in stock. Show me another place that has three tracking point PGFs in stock ready to go. You, you won't find another one anywhere. Uh, and me having the experience that I have with tracking points, you won't find another company uh, that's able to assist you and really back your purchase as you would with us. So uh, once again, really thanks.